Good morning and welcome to beginning the day with God for Creation Tide on Monday the 25th of September. We opened with Charles Hubert Hastings Parry's uh, I Was Glad. In the name of God the Father. Who made heaven and earth. In the name of God the Son. Who became a creature like us. In the name of God the Holy Spirit. Who sustains all life on earth. In the name of God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. week we continue our readings and reflections for Creation Tide and our theme is praise and our reading today comes from the 10th chapter of St Matthew's Gospel. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. Thanks be to God. We had a young baby at the time, so I was used to getting up early in the morning. But on this particular day, I was up early for a different reason. We were coming to the end of a week of lectures about Christianity and the environment where we had studied all sorts of theologians and traditions and had engaged in some wholehearted debates around these issues. On the final morning, for something a bit different, our tutors invited us to join them in the woods behind the college at 4am to hear the dawn chorus. As we gathered bleary-eyed in the gloom, we stood in silence. For about 20 minutes, there was nothing to be heard and we began to wonder whether it had been worth getting out of a nice warm bed for this. Then the first bird, a robin, began to warm up. Before long others had plucked up the confidence to join in and as they did our tutors expertly identified them, thrushes, finches, warblers and more. As the day grew lighter the song grew louder and at some point our little gathering turned from a study group exercise into a profoundly moving time of prayer, led by the countless creatures into whose woods we had stumbled. Most of these birds we probably wouldn't give a second thought to if they flew past us in the daylight. Yet, this encounter was a reminder that they are loved and cared for by their Creator and they respond to that love and care by pouring out their souls and their songs in the early light of dawn. As Mary Oliver says in her poem, I happened to be standing, I thought of the wren singing, what could this be if it isn't a prayer? So I just listened. Perhaps today, spend time just listening. How can our fellow creatures lead us in prayer? Amen. We come to our prayers and this morning uh, our prayers are requested for the people and ministers of the churches, the church communities of the Diocese of Aguata, which is part of the Church of Nigeria. And we pray too for our colleagues and friends who are members of the other local Christian churches. We think of Freddie and Simon and all at Zion Baptist Church of the Congregation of Tentadon Methodist Church, of Father Beer and Jollyon and all at St Andrew's Catholic Church, of Matthew and all at Trinity Baptist, of Gilbert and all at Jira Chapel, 
and Carl and all at the Gateway Church. And at the beginning of this new day, we pray for ourselves and for each other that God may increase our faith, help us to grow closer and closer to him as we live and pray and worship. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. In the world around us this day we pray. Your kingdom come. In the world before us this day we pray. Your kingdom come. In the world beside us this day we pray. Your kingdom come. In the world within us this day we pray. Your kingdom come. We join together now in the prayer of the kingdom, the prayer which Jesus taught us, saying, Our, Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. God of wonder, go with us into this new day. Speak to us, refresh us and astound us that we may grow to love you and your world more dearly. Amen. Amen. 